Hello everyone, I'm going to show you why I like this County Line Kitchen Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Okay, so here's the Cold Brew Coffee Maker. It's on a ball. It comes with everything you see. It's on a ball mason jar. Here's the actual coffee filter. There is a like a gasket here that's really nice. But the main thing is you're going to put the coffee here. And this is a very nice like mesh, steel mesh filter. Up here we got the handle, and I like that you've got this lid that you can snap close. There's a seal up there. Everything seems very well made. Okay, so we need some coffee to put in here. You can put regular coffee in here, ground at a medium grind for like a coffee maker. But I like, they prefer if you use a coarse grind coffee. So I've got a grinder here. I've got it set on coarse, and I'm going to grind us some coffee. Okay, so let's get the coffee. We're going to put it inside the filter. We're going to fill the filter up. Right about there. You want it just below the line here. There's not really a line, but just below here. Make sure you got your gasket on. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the ball jar. So th this next step you can do over at the sink, turn your faucet on and just run some water through the coffee. It's going to go into the, the mason jar. We want to fill that mason jar up. Sometimes you got to do this nice and slow. Gonna get those coffee grounds nice and saturated. There you go, it's all the way full. Now it's time to put, make sure this lid is snapped closed. And now you got that seal on there. There's a seal in the cap. You're gonna screw this on. All right, now with everything sealed, you wanna shake it. We wanna get those coffee grounds nice and saturated. You may find that the water comes down just a little bit. You can open the cap and put a little bit more water in there, but this one looks like it's doing pretty good. Now, you're gonna put this in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours, depending on what taste you like. I like the 48 hours, the 24 hours is good too. Now, whenever you open the refrigerator and you see this there, they say to give it a shake. So if it's, if it's been in the refrigerator for four or five hours and you open it up to get a snack, just give it a, you know, give it a shake while it's in the refrigerator and then put it right back in the refrigerator. This helps with the brewing process. You can use whatever coffee you like the taste of. I like a medium roast. That seems to taste the best for a cold brew. Okay, so after it's been in the refrigerator, again, give it one last good shake. Now we got to unscrew this lid. We got to get rid of that coffee grounds. So we're going to have to rinse this off because we're going to have to reuse this. But you're just going to lift this coffee filter with all the coffee grounds in it. Kind of let it drain out. And then you can get rid of all those coffee grounds and give that a good washing. Okay, so I rinse this off. Now I consider this like a concentrated cold brew. I'm going to add some water now. You don't necessarily have to do This is for taste, but if I fill the rest of this up with water, this seems to be just the right amount. And again, we've got this all cleaned off. So now this becomes a serving pitcher. Screw this back on. So now you can serve it over ice. It's still a little bitter with it served over ice like that straight black, but it's very smooth. It's definitely better than when it's brewed over a coffee, a hot coffee. So let's pour some of this into another cup with ice and I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of milk. This little bit of milk just seems to take away the bitterness, what's ever left of it. Add a little bit of milk. And I also like to add a little vanilla. You can add any syrup you want or no syrup at all. Just like one, one tablespoon. And then the nice thing about this jar is you close the lid. You can put this back in the refrigerator now, and this is your like pitcher for storing the, the cold brew concentrate. So I really like this, this cold brew coffee maker. I'm glad I bought it. Thanks everybody for watching.